Hello. Hi, Summer. How you doing? Um, hearing game noises. That is weird. I cannot explain it. Um, I was mucking about with it, but uh, it shouldn't have bled through, but I don't know how. But either way, we're here now anyway. Um, so, sorry if that was a bit weird. Um, let me know if the game gets a bit too loud. It seems okay at the moment, but I can turn it down for my headphones because um, it got a bit uh, got a bit screechy. But if it happens to uh, you know, be a bit too loud for you guys or you, uh, just let me know. Um, anyway, sorry, hello. Uh, welcome. Thank you for coming. Don't have to be here, of course, and I appreciate it. But uh, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling well, having a good day. At work, I assume, probably. Back off. Doing okay? Excellent. Um... Actually, does, does Belgium have a bank holiday? Working, that's fair enough. The vacation reserve list. You have a vacation reserve list? How does that work? Oh, yeah, excellent. You had a good holiday yesterday. I hope your Easter was good, of course. Um, if you don't... Uh... Oh, vaccination! Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Because I was thinking about like the holiday yesterday, my brain just immediately went to holiday for some reason. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Voozle. Hello, uh, Wanderer. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Sorry, I was just laughing at my own ineptitude. Um, uh, excellent. Well, um, Summer, I hope they they catch up with you soon. Um, that uh, I know that a lot, a lot of people are struggling to to catch it, but randomly there are those doses out there. I hope it comes up. Um, anyway, sorry, Avuzel, hello, I hope you're having a good day, how are you? Uh, and Wanda as well, the same, uh, hope you're doing alright. I have played the first of these games, I do not really know this one. Uh, I think I've played about ten minutes previously just to make sure it worked. Like, and that was some time ago and I went, oh great, and I just never got back to it. Um, you still have to wait until you're in the group. That's that's fair enough, I guess. I mean, um, I understand certain people are struggling to get hold of the doses, but uh, but like I said, there, there's occasionally people sort of slipping through, just you know, getting the last ones in there if they got some spare and things like that. Might be from Thursday onwards. Oh, I see. Oh well, um, that sounds slightly foreboding. Uh, not much unlike the game in the background, but um, I hope all is well, and that um, that's not an entirely negative thing. I guess it's a positive if you can get your vaccine, but uh, uh, hope otherwise you're doing okay. Um, anyway, yes, right, okay, let's, sorry, let's dawdle about too much. Um, uh, yeah, I, th I think I played like the first five, five, ten minutes of this game, never seen any more. I played the first one, which I would replay, except the fact that I can't seem to find it. I don't know how I used to play it, but I don't have it on Steam, and I was like, I'm not going to buy it just to replay it, I'll just jump into this one. I'm hoping there's not too many references to the previous game, although I should probably get out my notebook. Oh, thank you very much, Summer. That's very kind. Um, uh, I, I much appreciate that. Uh, oh, right, let me find a new page on my, my notebook. Uh, Ghost Vigil, oh, I'm still working on that, I keep forgetting. Um... Oh, actually, did I have a previous page? I thought I did, didn't I? Sorry, bear with me one second, then we'll start the game. No, it's not really, not missed. Oh, right. oh dark, here we are, even. Right, okay, I actually have a page for it. They are legends, I love them. Uh, love for a bit work. I understand, that's fair enough. Thank you very much for, for popping in and enjoy your lurk. Uh, I appreciate whatever you, whatever you do. Maybe have a, have a good day if I don't get to speak to you again. Yes, uh, I I love their I love their work. I love the atmosphere of their games. Um, there's just nothing quite like them out there. Um, this is the second one. Yes, yeah. I don't blame you if you wanna if you wanna skip out for uh, for spoilers. But um, uh, yeah, I I played the first one. I have to admit, some I found some of the puzzles slightly confusing. Um, but that's almost guaranteed to be me. Um, I'm hoping this one I fare a bit better, but this is still Disney, so you know, no. Yes, Lost Crown is, oh god no, uh, I don't know how many times I've played that game. I, I think I get the urge for it approximately every April, 
and usually get it finished for May Day. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's uh, it, it, it's got a feel for that time, and I I, I just love it. Um, uh, that said, I still can't quite ever seem to get through the game quickly. I don't. Know, it's a massive game in comparison to you know some others. It, the but I. It's, it's also a weird one to try and promote because the it starts out you know a bit janky and let's be fair even for its release period it's not the most technically amazing game but um, but everyone I know who's played it gets thoroughly invested they can't they can't help but enjoy it and that's that's what it's all about as far as I'm concerned it's just best um, it is indeed a journey. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then, and then we waited. What we went out to twelve years for the sequel. It's crazy. Well, we had that little, you know, Halloween special or whatever. Uh, about and that was about six years ago now. Insane. Anyway, right. Okay. Sorry. Waffling away. New game. Let's see where this takes us. You're listening to Emma Harry on BHR. <laughs> Soon. Dot TM. Yeah. <laughs> The autumn equinox is with us once again, a powerful night in the pagan calendar. It's been ten years since the event <laughs> at Barrow Hill. Many people lost their lives that night. I saw things, things that shouldn't exist in our modern world, an ancient power disturbed after thousands of years. Yet the cover-up continues, and those now gone are labelled as missing. The so-called inquest was a smokescreen. Industrial accident at the service station. I don't buy it, neither should you. The grieving families deserve answers. They need answers. There are those like me seeking the truth, seeking answers. If you're still out there, keep looking, keep searching. Okay. Interesting. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's the. It's been ten years since the event at Barrow Hill, known locally as Q306, where keep many going. people lost their lives that night. Yet the cover-up oh, continues, and I. Oh my God! We can check. What's with that radio station? It's always this mystical Stay weirdness. Okay. Enjoy an autumn day out with the whole family at Antiques Adventureland. Come, feast your eyes on forgotten sounds like Jonathan Burks. Oh, okay. It, <laughs> it literally stops at an end. You're listening to Emma. I repeat, this is Gus Bevan. The dark man. We need help. She's coming for us. We're Ooh. at the Barrow Hill service station. Anyone, help us. The ears She's of here. the owl. She's coming. Find the SIM card. It will show you everything. It will show you what happened. I fit in them just in case. People have to know. I repeat, this is Gus Bevan. We need help. Okay, okay. She's coming the SIM for cards us. will show us what happened. No idea how that works, but okay. Us. Right. She is of the owl. Interesting. Find the SIM card. Okay, so we're back at the service station. Show you what happened. Why are we here, though? Just in case people have to know. Are we... Who are we? I repeat, Gus no, that's no problem. I understand it completely. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, anyway. It's good to see you. Hope you have station. a good day. You take care. Help us. I wish we could turn that radio off, She's though. Coming. That would be nice. Let's just move away. Oh, God, it only It'll just gets quieter. Everything. Okay, fair enough. Let's just... Oh! Oh, we've got a menu up here. Okay. And a phone down here. Okay. 
unknown caller. Interesting. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. September 2016. I need to catch my breath. Okay. Let's stop running. Is that you, the journalist? I can see your light. I'm Mia. Mia Kendall. Emma Harry gave me your number. Mia Kendall. She says you can help. Something is wrong with this place. Barrow Hill. I, I thought I could understand. The dark path. Better keep moving. Okay. Right, okay, so we're a journalist. We've come back no. here to find out, or at least to investigate, what happened. Okay, fair enough. Let's just keep scanning around. What the hell is that? Looks like a scarecrow. Wurzel Gummidge is now missing. Last 2B says, don't be sad. Oh, thanks. Okay, we'll try not to. <laughs> Class 2B. Patronising, that's what you shouldn't be. Those we love do not leave us. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, we can light this candle if we need to. Wince? Wince? I don't know. We can, right, okay, so we need to find some matches. What? Oh, are these them over here? Jesus, what's that noise for? <laughs> Lucifer lights. Okay. Right, where are we? Matches. Candle lit. Bonus. I don't know why. Oh, look, there's Jonathan Bokes. He's missing. Oh my god. Last scene on the main St. Awful. Some thing road at 825. Oh, I can't read all of that. Cornwall. Fair enough. Yes, alright. People have to know. I'm just going to keep gouting around. We were at the Hill Who was here just lighting station. all these candles and why? Nice pentacle going on inside. Oh, there we go. Thank God the radio's finished. Free hugs? I want free hugs. Oh, it says use. Can we use our phone light? No. Okay. 2016, before phone lights existed. So yeah, um, I remember the first one happened to, uh, here we go. But the first one was all around a service station where basically you crashed at it and you encountered uh, an odd, like, like the place was desolate and you were picking up the pieces after people had been there and they'd apparently gone missing and you found one or two people, like, who would hold themselves up in certain rooms but they very quickly disappeared <laughs> in um, I can't say gruesome ways I guess it must have been pretty pretty horrible but you didn't see it um, the idea was that there was this weird presence following them around and that presence took the shape of a giant like uh, a standing stone a men here of sorts and uh, it uh, yeah and it was supposed to be the, the, the spirit of the, the forest had been upset by some uh, some digging at the local barrow, which was a uh, here we are, we've got some of the things here uh, old woods are a rare example of unspoilt Cornish woodland off the usual forest trails and guides fine mix of deciduous trees, rare species of fern 174 varieties of moss wow interesting I guess woods are also a mystery to archaeologists, legend says that no one has managed to find and survey all the unusual sites hidden within the green including the druid's pool, now we went there and that was an interesting little um, almost like a little scrying pool if I remember correctly, uh, natural spring uh, thought to be an offerings pond used for millennia by witches, pagans and bronze age tribes and th what had happened was that they disturbed the, the site and we had to uh settle everything by performing a certain like uh almost sort of uh pagan-esque i guess ritual with various um various things we 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 found around the place you know it had to be you know uh like uh it'd be like um you know the the 
the juice of a certain berry or something like that and you'd happen to find it in like the vending machine or something along those lines <laughs> you know all these all these random stuffs around and uh and you know you had to perform the ritual everything went at ease but of course the people didn't come back because they were all dead so uh, i'm assuming it as it said in the intro everyone was being um essentially it was being covered up some kind of weird industrial accident a uh, barrow uh wait i'm not familiar with that word stone remains of a huge neolithic barrow mound 4,000 year old burial site, Barrow Farm Ruins, last remains of an old 17th century farm, a site of keen interest to weirdos, pagans, goths, and ghostbusters. Yes, we visited there temporarily at the time, it was just a site for uh, some like, teenagers to hang out and get high. <laughs> that was basically what was happening there. Right, so I'm assuming we need a, a lamp of some description to, to carry on further into the woods. I thought we might be able to go in the phone box. Oh, we can. Oh, okay. Bonus. Um, just the phone, but we don't. We have a mobile on us, so we don't need the phone, shall we? Nothing here going on. Your trees need you. Oh, that was uh, in the Lost Crown. That little symbol. Uh, Jonathan Bokes likes to reuse uh, assets, which I can't blame him. So he's having to rebuild stuff, but also it like creates this uh, interesting. Uh, world in which you sort of feel as though everything is joined whether it is or not is irrelevant um, you know you can argue it's just a matter of like I said reusing assets but it also creates a, a continuity of 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 things which uh, makes it everything sort of feel slightly familiar but also n a new location you know anyway um, okay so we have a bus stop bonus are we, we I feel like we're missing Ian. something here. That's we're the Barrow Hill Hillside. Yes, I'll yes, be okay. back after these messages. Celebrate the harvest moon. <laughs> this autumn equinox. No. Celtic Corner. Oh my Your god, Celtic Corner. That's also in uh, the Lost Crown. A lot of references being made there. So what, 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 what do we do here? I feel like I'm missing something very obvious because there's not a lot moving around. Um. Oh! Oh, I zoomed in on something I didn't before. Okay, fair enough. Emmett family been missing since September 2006 and have stopped at the Barry Hill service station. Yes! Interesting. Oh, so we get. Oh, okay, we get to click on. Oh no, that's the same one. Your evil loving sister, please come home, mummy. When my brother went away, what was that Q three oh six? Um, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Can we click on anything else here? No. Oh my god! Oh, we have the candle. Okay, I'm gonna struggle slightly if I don't actually know what I can click on. I'm just ran. I thought it would highlight something. Buongiorno. How's it going? What year was uh, this released? Uh, you know what? I feel like I should know that. I have no idea. Bear with me. Dark path. Here we are. Do -do 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 -do. If I can find the correct site that's actually going to be able to tell me. This would have been somewhere around the mid teens, I would have thought. Uh, You're listening to the fabulous Emma Harry on VHR. It's been 10 years since the event at Barrow Hill. 2016, it came out, September 2016. Where many people lost their lives that night. Yet the cover up continues. Uh, it's going alright. Still tired. Was watching another stream that just finished while eating cereal with soy milk. Nice. And I finished the egg I started yesterday. Oh, the chocolate egg, I'm assuming. Not just. <laughs> ooh, not just. Cold egg. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so now we have a candle. So we can. Um, well, no, there's no point looking there. I wanted to turn around. Hey, there we go. Oh carrying us through anyway. 
with these kind of games, uh, I'm sure you know you're familiar, but you know for anyone who may not be, you just spin around on the spot, basically checking every screen, and then uh, and then move on. They're very much in a similar control style to the um, Dark Falls games, which I also enjoy, but uh, again, you know they feel a little dated in some of their um, some of their the the basic control scheme. A 30 pack of Ferrero Rocher, holy cow. She is really spoiling you, as the advert would suggest. <laughs> yeah, well, if you just say egg, most people just think of a regular egg. That's what's going to happen, I guess. <laughs> I mean, he's draw or not. You know, it's not, uh, not the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, oh, I actually have to answer this. Okay. I know it was Easter. Maybe not for everybody, though. Some people don't celebrate it. My brother. He disappeared a few years back. People say he's probably dead, but I want to know what happened to Ben. Oh, okay. I, I just wanted... Didn't we see Ben back there? I have to know. I need to learn more. <laughs> you can keep saying Easter as much as you like. I think it's probably, if you just say egg, you're going to have to accept that people are going to think of a, a regular egg. <laughs> oh, oh, we have, oh, hang on. Service. Right, we've got a symbol on a door. Looks like an hourglass. Okay. Interesting. Keep moving. Oh, how was that? Turning. How did... I want to look in the window. It's it's wide open. He can eat me. <laughs> oh my god! Can you imagine what kind of prank that would be if you get a regular egg and then just uh, like a like a, a large egg, and then uh, and then just coat it in chocolate. Be like ha ha ha, and then they bite into it. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> Where am I going? What's going on here? Oh, okay. Now we're. Out back, okay. Danger unstable building. Wow, we're getting lots of these little. Uh, uh, I'm assuming this is like a use icon, as in we need an item to work here. Um, getting lots of those, and not much suggesting what is actually going on. <laughs> lots of puzzles, not many keys. Or locks and keys, whatever. No, hang, oh, hang on. That forward arrow. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. I can't. Uh, right. Okay. I've got to work out what all these uh, things mean. Right. That means pick up and use probably. Electricity utility key. Right. Okay. So this is a scary game. Not a fan of. It is. It is scary, but we're not going to encounter anything gory. It's going to be spooky, I guess. Might be the term. Um. At most, we might get a jump scare, but. I, I don't think they're necessarily as cheap as to go for that, but yeah, it, I would class it more scary than, uh, than you know, obviously anything that we've played so far. Um, but I love these kind of games, these, uh, these sort of ghosty, spooky games. We were just talking about the uh, the people that make them are uh, uh, sort of a, just a breed unto their own. They, uh, no one else can seem to quite get the same, that, in the right order. There we are. A Camp Cornwall. Bling shot. Okay. Fully intact. Clenching your butt. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that bad. <laughs> but uh, but then I could say that about anything, I guess. <laughs> um, just also, if you know... Uh, also, you know, I should say... Um, I don't actually know what's happening. I played the previous game, which is set in the same place, but obviously looks uh, different and has different... Uh, exact story and such, so uh, I don't know what's going to happen necessarily. Gus, Ollie, me, we are being hunted. Please, can you get me out of here? You could guide me out of the woods. I feel a bit safer already. Really? I, I want to see my brother one last time. I created a pentacle, made the offerings. It should have worked. I have to know the dark path. It was supposed to help. Yes, I can see the old tractor. I must be near the old farm. 
Who's holding the phone now? Oh, it's pronounced Coit. Okay. It's coming for me. Oh, Mine's a top to a nose ring. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, but sometimes these things you can't sort of ignore when the when you see it sort of like what was it like when they were making this? <laughs> oh, okay. Pile of rocks. Why not? Oh, see, it doesn't indicate that I can click on these. They're not arrows of any kind. Oh. He said look for the SIM cards. That's not a... Am I going mad? That's not a SIM card though, is it? It's a, it's a memory card. Three... <laughs> two gig ones, yeah. <laughs> Am I going mad? Do they call them SIM cards? I didn't think they did. Oh! Fire up this way. What's down here? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm so glad we put those arbitrary rocks back in their place. Ah! Right? What the hell was that? That's not the beginning to Jonathan Creek. What's going on here? Okay. Phew, Mia, finally. I've been trying to phone you for ages. Well, this character's Emma Harris. Why I haven't think? you been answering me? I was worried sick. Yeah, they do. Look I told funny. your parents I would keep an eye on you. Very elastic. Please, just tell me you're not out tonight. You or your friends. You're on a. It's the equinox. Video phone. You know that. A bad night, not a normal night. It's a night when things can happen. I know you're still seeking <laughs> yeah. answers for your bro brother. I've told you I'm still investigating too. Why can't you just leave it? M M Mia? Mia, that is you, yeah? Well, no. Who? How do we who possibly look like her? Why have you got Mia's phone? Wh wh where is she? Yeah, exactly. A moving. You'd think that's the kind of thing we would have by now. You'd think they would have focused on that. Like a, you know, just a simple, you know, just a little animation. You know, you can add a gift to. It, rather than just a, a random picture that, you know, is a pointless little shell. Of all the things phones can do, you'd think that would be there. Anywho. <laughs> you vid. Oh. Oh my God. Gus, give me the phone. Ollie, tell him. It's oh wow, this is fault. set on its release date. Interesting. The wishing stones. It was supposed to help. <laughs> the wishing stones? Maybe they could help us. No, listen. There was a chapter in a book, Effigies. Effigies? Make an offering for each, then place the wood effigies. The three of us have our own symbol. Seek them out. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> exactly. Of all the things you could add to, <laughs> to your contact list. It makes it a little pair down here with a bike taking over. What is that? What is it? <laughs> oh god, okay. Oh, that's the hourglass symbol on the door. The dark path. Right, it's a it's a cult of sorts. Join the dark path and join us in our green new world. Follow the teachings of James Tregowan. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna keep people's names in case they happen to pop up in a list somewhere later. Keypad. <laughs> sure. Here we go. 
Is that spell? Oh, wait, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. God, I'm so slow at writing. The darkpath.co.uk. I bet you that's a natural site as well. Oh. Can take a. Mia Kendall's hair clip. Interesting. So randomly just click on the bag. There it is. Uh, Barrow Hill Coit. Cornish. Coit. Okay. That, yeah, excellent. It's well preserved but hard to find. Megalithic tomb that lies beneath St. Awful and Saw Point in Cornwall, England. United Kingdom, yes. It is known locally as the Witch's Prison, standing 13 feet high and consists of 15 huge standing stones forming an outer wall and the structure is capped by two huge slabs. <laughs> it could do. Uh, I'm certain, because they did the same with the, with one of them in the uh, in the Lost Crown. I'm certain that they wouldn't put a website in if they didn't own it. <laughs> As to how long they keep hold of that website for, I don't know. But this is only a relatively a couple of years. I'm pretty sure they they probably keep it uh, keep it active for some time. The coin is in the hamlet of Barrow Hill, near Witchwood Hollow, Barrow Farm. It's a Grade Two listed building, now sadly neglected. Uh, nearby the Barrow Hill Stone Sir, the Stone Circle, a collection of seven monoliths dating from the late Bronze Age. That was relative to the or relevant, sorry, in the first game. The site is managed by the Cornwall Archaeological Archaeology, sorry. Society, on behalf of national heritage, tombs and burials. Like other portal tombs of this type, Barrow Hill Coit was originally covered by a grassy mound. At the upper end of the covered slab is a natural hole, which may have been used for astronomical observation. The front stone allows access to the grave chamber. It is here thousands of years ago that a local Bronze Age shaman would have performed rituals, tribal celebrations, and make offerings to the dead. It was inside the Coit, an artificial underground that the ancient people of Cornwall made connection with their long-dead ancestors, the earth itself, and their gods. In the 20th century, Agatha Dunn-Harker studied the site and made drawings of it, later writing the first modern interpretation of which she explained the special nature of the antechamber and pointed out parallels to structures in Brittany. Recent excavations showed that this type of megalith was erected in the Neolithic period between 3700-3500 BC and such megaliths were used over a long period of time as community graves with untold numbers of human remains hidden by time. Okay, excellent, that's all there is. Right, uh, hang on, what have we got here? Okay, so we can go back and over that thing if we need to. We can use this memory card probably in the laptop here. Ooh, what the? Oh, Jesus, why does it keep doing that? Right, okay. This is right. Oh, the Dark Path Summoning Pentacle. Binding Pentacle. Hello. Right, okay. So obviously someone's taken probably the most important page out. Gold, copper, tin, lead, iron. Some of the day created pentagram using natural substance such as salt, flour, or chalk. Each Let's face it, probably chalk. It's easier to write with than salt and flour. Um, Symbols are representing the elements. Metals are a specific deity. Do not leave the circle until the ceremony is complete. Doing so will anger the spirit or bind to your world. Or bind to your world. Okay. Make the offering. Gifts, often in the form of metals, minerals, or precious stones, are placed in a special order around the pentacle. This is to tempt the spirit to the circle. Okay. Uh, earth is stability. Fire is courage and daring, water emotions, air intelligence, spirit, the divine. The spirit is a is an element now apparently. Earth, fire, water is green, and air is blue. Interesting. And uh, purple is spirit. Okay. Oh, we've got these up here. Bookmarks. Oh yeah. Okay. Wishes and prayers. Mankind is sort of myth a mythical, wish-granting deity from the earliest times, the genie, the fairy, or the devil himself. Here in Cornwall, wishes are made to cairns, piles of slate rock, so those that dwell within the green could grant the wish. It was just I've discovered a place deep in the rocky woods of Barrow Hill. My senses are alert almost straight away to the curious trio of tall, mossy cairns. These are, without doubt, the fairy stones mentioned by the old folk of Witchwood Hollow. They told me a song, a simple verse, that instructs on 
instructs on how to use the stones. It is a simple rhyme, all too easy to abuse, so care must be taken to avoid angering the fairy folk. To every wish granted, there must be shade, a rival event in another's life. To claim a wish, someone else must suffer. That has always been the way, so it is with the sum relief. So it is with some relief that the song continues with a remedy, a simple act that would free the taint of a failing wish. Okay. Oh, of course, and half of that's missing. Right, okay. Uh, only three. Oh, you stand the grant of wishes to thee. Barrow wood with the cans in a ring. Gift of a wish is that they bring. Well, they can hear you plead. Is there a fancy prayer or a trouble minded? Place a message at summoner's end and day and night at equal bent. Right, okay. Do not return. You never should, for your wish belongs to the barrow wood. Okay. There is a chance you will find your wish. Not that you had in mind. Murder most foul, lovesick date, perhaps you simply regret what you wrote. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. And then we lose that. Okay. And symbols, right. The hourglass means powerful. Okay. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna really I'm not gonna like copy all of this down, so uh we might be coming back to some of these places if I'm not carrying this with us. Wood effigies, simple room like forms, made from twigs, sticks and twine, which is know them as timber twig people. So named by legendary wood witch Granny Knot. Granny Knot? That sounds familiar. I wonder if I've heard that elsewhere or in another game? It's creepy. Um uh, uses. Charms. Curses, love spells, transference, binding traps. Oh no, don't worry, that's fine. Um, like I said, I will probably end up coming back here when we know the kind of puzzle we need to solve. Because otherwise I could end up, you know, just like I said, just copying all this down. And we may even put some of this stuff in our inventory to look at later anyway. You never know with these things. So do you, uh, oh wait, uh, aim create a form of the target individual. It's not important to make effigies in the human form, instead you must mirror their personality. As much that is powerful in the dark path does not recognise our material form, shape or structure, only the spirit itself. <laughs> I make these twigs into a cloud. Task, build an altar within the wood to create a wood, your wood effigies. Create a form by mirroring the personality of the target through your choice of shape. Caution, a successful wood eff effigy is a shade of the individual. It is possible to harm, burn, drown, pierce and salt an, eff an effigy, causing harm, even death to the target. Interesting. Okay. Brave, sly, angry, cowardly, powerful, orator. Orator, that's that's a spirit? That's what you would sort of automatically assume? Interesting, okay. Yes, okay, so we might be coming back to that. Ooh! Do -do 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 -do. Mia Kendall, alright. Do not share your password with anyone. Oh, Gus and Ollie, to watch the video feed, password. The event that started it all. Yes. Stay out of my emails. Oh god. Create a password if you want to like the name or code and mix of numbers and digits best for example. <laughs> is that a chocolate head egg? Or is it uh have you swapped onto the the hard boiled one yet? Oh okay, that's our exit button. The event that started it all. Um God, what what were they calling it? I guess. I mean, um, did they have? Oh God! Oh my God! She said it on the radio, didn't she? She said what they call the event, and I didn't write it down because I didn't know it was necessary to write everything down. Oh, trying to get there's a camera up there. We've got a sign warning: the sign is monitored by Gosork <laughs> Security Solutions. Saw point. Five for five, seven, eight, six, nine. Okay, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Is it over here still? Oh no, but there is the idea. Mia Kendall. Alt Science, CMDQ. Right, oh, hang on. Is it in our inventory? Uh. No? Oh, I don't have BTTV, so I have no idea what that looks like, but fair enough. Um, where is that annoying noise coming from?
we answered it before, but moved. A new one here. Bygone's old vicarage place in Orphan. God, look at these hippie clothes. Ooh, okay, right. I'm looking at all this stuff. I don't know where this damn noise is coming from. I'm sure it's completely, you know, plot relevant, but... The phone didn't seem to care. So... But we have our own phone. Why did ours change co to the colour of the other woman's? Why have we only got one phone? And, oh, which way am I looking? That's <laughs> not where I was aiming to go. Uh, red speech bubble with a smiling face holding a thumb. Ah, okay, fair enough. I was looking out here. That would register it again. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'll tell you what. Right. We've got to come back here with the password of the event. Let's go find that password. We'll come back and then... Apparently it's 2.03 in the game. Is it? Oh, okay. Find that hard to believe. 0 p.m. Two or three. Oh, right, I think we keep swapping around, but okay. Uh, I'm getting a little turned around. Right, so that's back into here. That's out of that way. We came in that way? I think we came over the fence, didn't we? How do we get back to where we were? Oh no, that's uh, that's the door we've already been in. If that's the gate we can't get through. Okay. Don't like that noise. Oh, we need a key for this. Okay. I'd just like to point out I'm not lost for once. I am, however, stuck. <laughs> the two completely different things. What is going on here? But I think we climbed over the fence and now we're kind of stuck here. No, we've already got that. Which is worse? It's debatable, I guess. No, that's the same thing. Okay. Oh my god, but how am I meant to... Am I meant to remember what they called the event if I can't, uh... I can't go back and find out. Oh, hang on, we've, we've got a torch. Hang on. There's a place up here that was like, no, no, too dark. So maybe we can just follow that route instead. Uh... Hey, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's go. Um, wandering blindly into the woods in the middle of the night with nothing but a torch. A torch and a dream. Oh my god, is that the phone I'm carrying? What's going on? Oh, it is. Okay. There you are. Ten years ago, during that archaeology <laughs> yes. dig, they disturbed something. An ancient power demanded to be heard. You understood that. You were the only one who really knows what happened. Is it starting again? You know. You restored the balance made the offerings. You proved that man has not forgotten the ways of the past. Oh. A pagan force, hidden within the natural world. You're playing the same Things character. have never been the same since. Okay. Nobody would believe what really happened. Tr trust me, I tried to tell people. The newspapers, the press, those suits from the government. But you're different. Be watchful, especially tonight. I'm not just different, I'm special. I've got a certificate to prove it. Right, okay. You know what, hang on. Uh, menu. First of all, let's just throw in a quick save. Let's 
overwrite that one. I think that was the 10 minutes I played previously. Then, I'm pretty sure I keep pressing the wrong button. Menu. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure I corrected the menu options here. Oh, okay. There we go. I looked at that before, and I thought the cross meant it was crossed, you know, it was active. I thought it'd be blank if it wasn't, but no. Okay, onwards, there we go. Just for anyone who can't uh, hear properly or anything. Uh, Pagan Force, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not, uh, uh, as you may know, I'm not religious, but I do find, uh, I do find that a lot of these things make for good settings in which to have especially scary games. Oh, the old tractor. Now this was where Mia rang us from before. She said, I've seen the old tractor. Hey. Horseshoe! Scary horseshoe! Forest doesn't want us going this way for some reason. Interesting. Oh, bit of oh no. Not a bit of paper apparently. Yes, there it is. Aha. Oh. Oh these symbols. He loves these symbols. Okay. None of that makes any sense to me though. Circle in a triangle. This looked like the one in the cave? Okay. Apparently, I'm just going to copy this down for a second. Like, bit too long. The inbound. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. That's okay. Sometimes these uh, these things happen with the uh, with Twitch. It likes to take its time. There we go. Okay. Just copied all of them down. You get the feeling that's almost certainly going to be of use later. Ooh. Box bark. That's one. Leaves in the wind. Don't open Twitch app for them to. Do you know what? That could be your phone. Uh, sometimes, um, sometimes phones automatically, I, I've discovered this, they have like a system in which they, they automatically mute things you don't use, essentially it's like a power saving mode of sorts. Um, I found this because, uh, the amount of times I would suddenly get notifications and it's like, oh, you're active now, it's like, I always wanted to be active, can you just bloody tell me, you know. Hello! How you doing? How you feeling? Hope you're well. Welcome to uh, Barrow Hill. We're lost in the woods at the moment. <laughs> What's new? Okay, that was an owl. Interesting, although I have no idea why any of this is happening. Too good, glad you're okay. What the was that? Cow? A I don't know. with the calendars and stuff. Oh, it's a deer call. Sorry, I, was, I wasn't looking, obviously. <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is Barrow Hill. Um, it's a sequel to a previous game. They are making reference to it, but I don't think you necessarily have to know all that happened, thankfully. Um, the, some Basically, some crazy shit went down. Um, all to do with forest spirits and, and such. And apparently about ten years later we we've come back to um we've come back to to investigate more of what happened and there's more more problems apparently. Uh previously it was just like a weird almost uh sort of undefinable spirit entity that was doing damage. Um but would often take the shape of a giant 
standing stone, uh, which is a bit weird when you see it moving around. Um, it sounds almost comical, but it was quite creepy. Um, but uh, this time it seems to be a woman. We heard a voice so far, and her picture's on the box art, so <laughs> we're assuming she's involved. Um, at the moment, some girl called Mia Kendall has gone missing. We have her phone, because we found it, and she keeps getting phone calls from her friend, who is telling us vaguely what's happening as we go. We're essentially just wandering around, trying to get to places, picking up things that we can pick up, and interacting with other things. You know, the typical find a lock, find a key kind of situation. Ooh. Now that looked like someone's run through here and got hurt on the barbed wire. Oh, what the? What did I do with that? Okay. Oh, is this the... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, I can just move these. They're gonna... Oh, th I think that one was floating for a second there. Oh, okay. Who's at my front door? Oh, it's just a leaf on this, okay. Um, but she was like, who are you? How do you have this phone? And then called us normally a few minutes later. Yes, yeah, it, it, um, <laughs> yeah, she went from, what are you doing with my friend's phone? And then hung up to, here's what's happening. <laughs> it, was, it was a bit of a, a tone change. Um, no more does the sweet water flow from the hill, the magic clear water that could cure the ill. Oh, right, this must be like the, uh, the offering spring or whatever. The most annoying ringtone, yes, yeah. Spring key was taken from its rightful place and dropped in the soil by thieves making haste. Oh, okay. Somewhere around here is a spring key? Promise to find you, O key, precious key, and restore you to the greatness among the trees. Amongst the trees. I will charge my pendant a crystalline. Crystal, crystalline, yeah, guide. It promised to find you wherever you hide. White flicker. Okay, this then I take it. This is supposed to be a nice pendant. What was with the jump scare? Okay, so where are we? Oh. So not there. Okay. Can I use that anywhere? Nothing. No, I can't. Okay. Interesting. It seems like it. Uh. Oh, hang on. Can I use it? Oh, right, okay. Um, I do not have a map, no. Don't understand what I'm looking out for. Is it gonna glow or make more noise or swing more? Okay, hang on. Try it again here, see what the differences are. It's swinging about the same. Right, okay, so I'm going to say it's not here. I could probably... Oh, is it not there? Where can we use it then? Oh. Interesting. You're right, noising. Yeah, that makes more sense. Glasses in the barbecue? That's kind of sinister. Uh, I mean, it wants something for this. Uh, what can we use? Horseshoe. No? Okay. Not going to need the key. Kendall's hair clip. don't like the noises. What kind of noises? Oh, is the game audio okay, by the way? Um, I had to m fill around with it a bit before because it sort of has some quite sort of high peaks. Matches? Oh, we could do. Are we burning more of it? Have a look. No. Okay. 
Oh, hang on. You click there. Is that different? No. Okay. Oh, it's just. I think it's just the rim over the. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. The tree audio. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right. So like, just like the ambient noise. Okay. I understand. I think after a while you'll you'll kind of get used to the fact that there's not actually anything there. It's just it's just noise. Like that. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, where are we? Picnic bench. Ooh, moss. Is this one of the 174 types of moss that is available? Or whatever they mentioned? Uh, birch. No, okay. Oh, it looks like there's going to be a heart underneath, but can't creep it up yet. <laughs> Kablamo! Um, <laughs> it is true. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. I'd like to think we're wearing some pretty um, high boots and thick jeans. Uh, oh. Still not entirely sure on the stuff I can click on and things I can't. Barrow Hill service station closes after 80 years of service. Uh, glory days, back when the station was popular. Cult to blame, says local. Uh, the people of Barrow, Moore and Witchwood did a relieved farewell, claiming a cult act activity and bad fortune are to blame for the closure, not the well-publicised opening of a rival station at Sawpoint. <laughs> the disappearances, the stories, that was really what... That's what really finished the place, said local residents. There's teens hanging around, spraying graffiti and starting fires, and Christ knows what else. Future of the complex, which includes a workshop, a small motel, and cafe, remains uncertain. Uh, new overhead lighting fixtures perform double duty in dining room. How is that news? Okay. Right, okay. And that's where we came from. That's the randomness in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I'll this way. Interesting fox gloves going on around the place. Okay, yeah, so we came... See, that looks like I should be able to zoom in on it, but I I can't. I can't go anywhere else. However, I did find... Oh, yeah, this was this way. Okay. Neck behind this. Oh! Didn't even look behind us. I'm a muppet. i use the crystal here. Almost certainly. Bear with me a second. Grudge. Oh, they're into Japanese films as well. Druids. Pool. Okay, that's what it is, yeah. Okay, this is probably just going <laughs> to... I heart new age. This is just going to tell us everything. Gus, isn't that one of the guys that was with uh, Mia? Get walking around here spraying everything. Uh, what can we... What, what, what would it think we could use this on? Or use on this, I should say. Uh, burn it down? No, okay. I don't think any of this looks practical to be using with a sign at the moment. Okay. I keep right-clicking for my inventory, and that's not how that works. Clean it, possibly, yes. Maybe if we get... Because we've got to get inside the the building that we just walked away from. Maybe if we get into there, it's a kitchen or something like that. And have some cleaner. Not seeing any difference there whatsoever. It says tap, does it? Oh, there. Oh. Uh, I can't know. Perhaps something we'll pick up later. This is a random pool that we, uh, we can't do anything with. God knows what happened to the trolley that was sat in it and I messed around. I don't know. No, can't scroll my inventory yet. Haven't got enough of it. Oh. And if I don't click out of the screen... Oh, hang on, there was more to see here, because uh, as I didn't go beyond it, I just looked at it. Oh, 
What the hell? Okay. Oh, this is the key we're looking for. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So when it mentioned a key... Oh, hang on. What was that? There. No, no. Not there. Above it. There. No. Oh. It's the same thing. So it's all this huge area. Right, okay. This is all this huge area. looking for something in the middle. Uh, well, well, we're looking for the key that goes in the middle, which was a thing we... that was lost because it was stolen. On the sign, does it move? Uh, does what move? That thing we were just looking at. Getting anything here. Don't No, okay. Nothing there. Uh, on the sign. Nothing useful on the sign. Right. The goddess symbol. Oh, is that what that uh, that symbol is? This one. I've seen this before in other things. Um, doesn't appear to be any kind of... I, I assume that interactive symbol is for when we have the key, or whatever that is that we're missing. Uh, nothing else seems to be interactive. Except for that little arrow that drives us away. That's the same thing there. Okay. It seems weird that so far I can only use the crystal here Yet none of this seems to be doing anything. So we can use it in this location, but seemingly for no reason. Yet as soon as we step out of here, there's not much chance to use it either. Although, this does look distinctly... Hang on, maybe if I keep the torch off a bit, it'll glow a bit more? Right, yes. Okay. Nope. All looks the same. Right, one last time here before we leave. I can put the mouse up here instead. No, okay. Not really seeing anything. Oop. Bit too glitchy. Right, okay. Let's take more of a meander around. There's probably, I'm sure there's certain things we need to pick up still. Oh yeah, we're seeing all these uh, all these effigies about. The random tire in the middle of the woods. Why not? So many drinks. Carton as well. Ooh, where does this go? Oh, okay. I passed a whole bunch of screens I didn't bother looking through, but we'll do that on the way back. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Gus, he's got his bloody name everywhere. We've got a key here. This is the electricity key. I thought it was for a, something we'd seen previously. Oh. Nope. Okay, nope. <laughs> it's not for that at all. So we, we need another key, apparently. Ooh. We can look up at the table. Food driver of scissors. That makes more sense, but uh, I thought electricity key would be enough, but apparently not. Oh, so this is... Oh, of course, this was a place we couldn't go before because we didn't have the torch. No, so it's just right there. That's easy. Oh, that's easy, because that means we can now get back to that place we were at before. 
and we can also get back to the car which means we can find out what that password was uh, but where's this here here we are this was what i thought the key was for uh this here there we go oh oh it's a little puzzle nice okay um green to green i assume red to red now that can't be right Excuse me a second while I just boss this puzzle. Red, done. Password is always swordfish. <laughs> I unfortunately I cannot leave. No, I can't drive the car, but I can listen to the radio incessantly. Uh, however, in that will be what the locals call the event, which should be the password for Mia Kendall's laptop. Yes. Okay, uh, right, so from there... Green, done. Uh, blue. Ka-ching! Yeah, exactly. I'm just, just mucking about the electricity. It's fine. Don't worry. Um, right, sorry, yeah, the event is, uh, in the previous game, the, the, the random shit that went down. Sort of, uh, was explained in the press as, as a um, as a uh, uh, an industrial accident, but um, but the locals had a name for it. And Mia Kendall, who is here trying to look for her brother who went missing in that accident, um, she has gone missing. We we have access to her laptop, but we do not have the password. So she has made the password whatever the locals call that. Well, she's, the password is the event that triggered it, so I'm assuming that's what we're looking for. Got to find the name. No, no, it's alright. It's right here. Wow, that's quite a mouthful. A big one? Not at all. They come in these neat little squirters. I'm oh, sorry? So you can add them to anything? Sure thing. Add a few drops to water, coffee, soup, beer, even tea. It's perked you up no end. <laughs> After your hair fell out. What? Here, it saved my life. <laughs> this cat is <laughs> right. Okay. Um. I repeat, this is Gus Bevan. We oh, need this is help. right. Okay. She's coming for us. We were at the Barrow Hill service station. Anyone, help us! She's here. She's coming. Find the SIM card. It will show you everything. It will show you what happened. Somehow. I feed them just in case people have to know. Thanks. Can you just hide them all together? Disgusting. You're yes, listening to the fabulous Emma Harry on VHR. Harvest celebrations are in full swing this equinox evening. Right. This is the one that should Down by the harbour they are celebrating, launching sky lanterns, folk singing on the quay. Witchwood are celebrating, holding a bonfire and barbecue on the village green and scoffing hot baked potatoes. Got to and listen to the radio, Mine's cheese and beans, guys. If anybody fancies popping by, I'm sick of eating these duck noodles, wildfowl, or just bow. Whatever you're doing, however you're celebrating, exactly, yeah. He didn't make season, it easy for us, did he? Stay safe and have fun. The fabulous sounds from up here on Barrow Hill. I'm not going to repeat it now, we need to know, is she? I'll be back after these adverts. Damn it. Very great. No, no, once more. Okay. That's this one. Bring the touch of nature into your home. Celebrate the harvest festival. All our bouquets and arrangements feature locally. Gotta give it to them. They put some effort in with regards to the radio. <laughs> you seem to be busier than ever with career planet Pluto. Oh. It's your chance to join Charlie Clown and the Lumpy Scrumpy team down at the caravan. <laughs> Don't forget to pick your own harvest veg straight <laughs> from the earth while Charlie keeps the young and old properly entertained. Woohoo! Hey! See you soon, caravans! 
carrot fans. Enjoy an autumn day. Okay, that's enough. My acoustic doesn't go any further. Right, okay. We're not getting it, are we? Maybe we've done something. Oh, maybe it will tell us something here. Uh, Emmett family missing. Going to stop the Barry Hill service station. May, uh, I miss you, memory. And my brother went away. See, this looks like Q306. Big and Harvest Festival. I think they gave it a, a specific name because of it's just an event that happened, like as in, you know, the, the tragedy of sorts. You take the radio with you. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny to be fair. Um, right, none of that is helping. You're not helping Barrow Hill. Right, so we've turned on the electricity. Um, which I'm sure will be great once we get inside. Look, free hugs! Very, very kind here. We may end up dark. <laughs> See you later, carrot fans. Um, <laughs> um, yes, the the dark path appears to be. Hang on, did we? We didn't go this way, did we? Because, uh. Oh, because it won't let us, that's fine. And that's the phone box that won't help. Okay. You're listening to the fabulous Barrow Hill Radio 15.3. Yes, yes, we are. From Barrow Hill, Cornwall, England. Oh. There is an uncanny atmosphere tonight, listeners. But BHR will be your guiding light in the night. It's oh, the autumn oh, equinox when day and night are equal. It's a power time for pagan celebrations across the country. You can feel the energy on the air tonight. Let's get those vibes helping. flowing. Yep. You're listening to PHR. Time for some fabulous music. Fabulous Barrow music, right, okay. We might end up just sort of slightly guessing. Hopefully it won't be case sensitive. The amount of times I've hit a password and it's like, oh, yeah, it's case sensitive. It's like, God damn you. Yes, you. I can't go into the radio. Uh, radio? The window, sorry. This doesn't open at all, so... Again, a key of some description. Um, can't go in there. What's nothing on that way. That's the path we came down that suddenly led us back here. Is it? Is it? Oh yes, yeah, there's the fence. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Well, it is. That, um, can't remember what symbol it is exactly. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't go that way. It's just rubbish. This is what led us over into this area that we couldn't get back from. Around here, back up here, got some rocks and nothingness of sorts. A bit of random bikes and into here. Here we are. Right, so this was the place that had what we're looking for. Right. Watch the video feed password. The event that started it all. Now I'm going to assume it's not necessarily just four letters. Um so what are we thinking here? Um Days are equal would be Mabon. Why is it mentioned equal days? A Jurassic Park patch. Nice. Oh yeah, this was uh, the book we we actually picked up. So that's a bonus. We are uh, strangely enough. There's a copy here and in our inventory. We, if we look out there, I get the feeling that red that suddenly triggers the the phone, which doesn't stop until we leave. Oh, I see. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's hope for that as well. Yeah. 
Is that the same thing? That's the same thing. Oh. Oh, okay. We didn't even see this before. Nice. Right, okay, right. <laughs> we'll put that aside for a second whilst we read this. Hello, Rizalka, how are you doing? <laughs> I hope you're well, having a good day. This is a bit like a hidden object game. Yeah, it's... Um, uh, well, obviously you know what it is. Yeah, by all the same people that do Darkfall. It's very similar, um, but more... I guess it's more like uh, the Darkfall games, but um, yeah, the hidden object aspect probably comes from the fact that I don't know anything that I can seem to interact with. <laughs> I'm just randomly clicking on stuff. How are you doing? Anyway, welcome. Hope you're having a, like I said, hope you're having a good day. Right, okay, so when? The winter solstice. Where? Barrowmoor and Witchwood. What? Post? A? Dark path leaflet through every door in the area. It's knitting? Oh, nice. Labon, the winter is Yule. I getcha, okay. Knitting anything specifically nice, or just generically knitting? I know that the uh, the wife likes to knit, but she essentially just creates big panels, which she then turns into something else. <laughs> she just goes, eh, that's as wide as I want that one, and just keeps going until she runs out of wool. Target checklist for leaflets. Emma Harry, BHR, she's the one on the buffering that the stream it seems to be good this end oh twitch yeah that's fair yeah it's a uh, unfortunately a pain for a lot of people it's like uh the other day I, I was sat there and for seemingly no reason mine just occasionally just decides that it doesn't want to give me any more than a couple of seconds i was trying to watch uh the wanderer but um uh, i had to just resort to a bit of lurking and catching whatever happened to come through <laughs> so annoying you're less than a second behind me. Interesting. Don't know how it would tell you that, but okay. <laughs> nice to know. Um. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, ah. How is it always consistent with the UK? Interesting. Advanced settings on the stream. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh. Oh yeah. Anyway, sorry. Back to the game. Um. Emma Harry, she's the one on the radio. She's also the one that keeps ringing us on the phone. Percy does maps. Does it? I haven't got that far down. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Elsie Prestige. Some say she's a witch. Uh, something holding because Mia fancies him. Ha ha. Well, he's crossed out. Mazza has got a car. Mrs. Crocker runs the library. The pub. The green man. Uh, Drake. Edgar Drake. Railway cottages. Rose cottage. Queenie. Queenie Keen. Scamp George and Sammy Perkins. The rectory. Scamp George. Okay. Percy Cresswell. You could help us with maps. Haste loads at the bus stop of Witchwood. Mill leaves some in the loo. Tom of Farrier. He, he writes horror stories. Okay. So, okay. So we found this, but it's not actually very helpful. Where all these leaflets come from makes sense. Wishing. Okay, the random thing there. Hmm. And we've got these bits here. Oh, we picked up some pebbles. Oh, Gus, yeah. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, if you're still here, uh, thanks for coming. Have a good day. Enjoy your knitting. Uh, I appreciate popping by anyway. Don't worry about it. Uh, take care. Okay, so we picked up the pebbles. Can we put the pebbles down again? No. What would we put in there then? Or sugar? No, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Matches. Torch. I'm just going to try every random thing for no reason. Oh, can we... Put the... No, we can't see me... Oh, if we right-click on something, it gives us a closer inspection. That's nice to know. It would be, uh, it never actually told us that. Hang on. Maybe we can interact with some things on a more detailed basis. This just looks like it's got a tiny alien hand. 
looking for something, like it's reaching down for something. Oh, okay. No, these are just... Okay, hang on, let's just uh, go through in case there is more stuff here. But so far, nothing useful. Oh, that allows us just to look at the book again, okay. Nope. Matches, nope. Lucifer lights, interesting. Um, we have some hair on a clip for some reason. Or she goes to the pub. Maybe. If we get there. Um, e card. Men sure. You yeah, see, they're known as SD cards, not SIM cards. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Why they why they keep calling them SIM cards? It's weird. Just randomly looking at all these things in case they happen to give us something. Oh, oh wow. Wait, we can play music? What the hell? What the flip? I assume it's going in the computer once we unlock it. Um, again, I'm kind of drawing a blank on that password. I guess we could just start guessing a bunch of stuff, but I'm not sure what to come back with. The dark. Oh, hang on. Embrace the time of tooth and claw. I'm sorry. It's humid for 45 degrees Fahrenheit. 56? Oh, okay. oh, 53, by the way. And zero. All over this. What is going on with it? <laughs> okay, why would we want that? I don't know. Oh my god, we do have a map. This phone is actually more interactive. I swear to god, we clicked on these things earlier and nothing happened. But what's going on here? That's the Barrow Farm. Uh, unsurveyed humorly? The other three others have been to this location. Oh, of course, because this is her phone. For some reason, we, we got rid of our phone and we picked up the other woman's. But now we've got a lot more information on it, apparently. Arrow Coit, a Neolithic monument. Nine others have been to this location. And what's this one here? Arrow Hill Radio, that's where the woman on the radio lives. 10 Celsius. Right, okay. That's not so bad, I guess. Um, six others have been to this location. Okay. Interesting. Eight card goitafo. <laughs> I'm sorry, you lost me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bless you. Can the card go in the phone? Right, okay. Um, that's an idea. Hang on. Five metals. Oh, is this actually telling us? Right, hang on. Let's go through this first. We need to look them up. We will need to. All five to charge the pentacle. <laughs> Gold should be easy enough. Borrow something. Mum's jewellery, iron, old stuff, old nails maybe, tin, so normal stuff. I thought E would help, but well, I assume that's probably Emma. Just as bad as the rest. I thought she'd want to know. Still my fave babysitter though, and she's way cooler than the other drongos around here. I've been hearing that word a lot lately, drongos. I don't know why. Um, maybe if I show her, take her down the dark path, maybe she'd join us. See the truth? Victims. Ben. Right, that's her brother. Mr. Bruv. Emmett family, two adults, two kids, yes. Conrad Morse. Wincy. Oh, he... Wincy's the dog. Right, okay, that's the word I couldn't pronounce probably, and it's on the picture of the dog. Four anti dig protesters names others tip of the iceberg. If he has any contacts, it's an, that's an awful police. You've got an army of listeners, use them. Gus is getting cold feet. I'm going to have to work on him. His mum is probably sick. He must want that to end. Ollie will do anything for me. I think I can guess what his wish will be. Darth, but it's cute too. 
me well it's obvious i will know the truth at last the dark path will show me the way interesting the weather sometimes says deathly does it <laughs> oh wow <laughs> nice uh, i guess um oh blimey okay we can actually just use that connecting to transmission no transmission detected okay we we can that's just a whole music app oh messages oh my god okay uh we should start from the bottom shall we but apparently we're going to start from the top yes lots of sixes on this for seemingly no reason really there's something i wish i could, could change you know that uh your wish will come true so be careful Make it something you're sure about, totally serious. Sounds like devil worship to me. Listen, guys. Tonight's the night. Bring the objects, the wishes, and meet at the den at 6pm. I should see my mum tonight. She's not good. Can we do tomorrow? It has to be tonight. The autumn equinox is a once a year thing. Right, okay. So we're on the autumn equinox, apparently. Emma PHR and you. What happened to your brother was terrible, but the unexplainable, in my humble opinion. But unexplainable. Okay. You don't understand what it's like. Mum has never recovered, and I just want to know what happened. We may never know. We need to move on. Forget the terrible night. You sound like them. The cops. Well, I'm going to find out what happened soon. You can help. Now I'm worried. You promised me you'd stay indoors tonight. You don't understand what's out there on Barrow Hill. Oh, it's not complete random. Com <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, Bobby Rob. Okay. There's no weird conspiracy I I told your dad all this last month. And what about the missing CCTV footage? I've got a witness who says the press version was cut. Yeah, I'll admit that does look weird. Weird enough to reopen the case? I've tried to convince... Oh, Bobby... Oh, okay, policeman. Okay. I've tried to convince my CEO to reopen the case, but there's no new evidence unless you find something. Right, okay, that's her messages. Can we call anyone? No, we can't. Can we check the weather? No, we can't. Okay, hang on. So... Right, I can't pick up objects and use them with other objects. So it seems to be there has to be a um, a, a use... Uh, essentially a use icon, which is this, to use an object on. So I can't... It, I can't merge... Uh, you know, uh, inventory item. Can I play the music in the background? Does it stop? Have a look here. Which one do we want to listen to? It stops when I put the phone down. Picture. Of what? What was I looking for? Don't <laughs> know. Uh, there's the camera. There's that. Jazz forest trip. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a map here. That's quite handy. It doesn't seem to take photos, if that's what you're thinking. Which is crazy. But... Oh. And here's a new thing as well. Okay. What does this look like? Meant to use here. Yes, lots and lots of circles everywhere. Pebbles. Huh? Oh, did I use that one? I think I did. Um, okay. I feel like there's something to be used there. Oh, maybe scry? Okay, hang on. You're right. Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. Does this have a... No, it's not an interactive thing. Okay. Let's, uh... Event that started it all. Um... Uh... Um... Uh... uh ben. Long passing. Damn it. 
Um, uh, is it so annoying? I swear they mentioned it had a name as an event, and I can't think what that was. Um, but what else would you call it? Barrow Hill, maybe? Two L's? With a space? No. Oh my god, I feel like I could honestly be uh, guessing Equinox. Oh, okay, hang on. Let's try that one. Oh, I wish it would accept Enter. No. Make sure it's not case sensitive. No, okay. Sadness. <laughs> That's not the password. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to click on. See, mobile phone ringing. Here we are. We can answer it this time. She didn't know. She didn't know it was a w weird place. A weird it place? It started with that book. Some crank stuff about magic. Right. I thought it was path. stupid, but, but Mia, Mere? she did things, tricks, like it were magic. Just silly at first. Now she's after us, me and Gus, and that d d dj girl. Okay. We Who's made this? wishes. We made those st stupid wishes. Oh, this would be the one that fancies her, probably. <laughs> uh, Not Gus, but the other girl. What am I gonna do? I'm stuck in this bloody m motel room. Bloody? I've lost my glasses. Lost them uh, by the picnic place. Yeah. Lost them. Now I can't see. And yeah, I can't see anything. anything without them. I said to my mum, I need contacts, mum. <laughs> if I'm going to be an actor, I need contacts. Dude, this is not the time. Is you it? could help me. You've got eyes. Oh, you yes. could get me. I mean us. G -g Gus and me. Get us out of here. Get the CCTV working. You could check to see. See if the coast is clear. There's a camera in the corner of the room. Bit weird, eh? Pervy weirdos. <laughs> Where he does. Oh, hang on. Maybe, maybe it's the security people. Gossog yes. security. Yeah. Sad Barry, the security guy. Sad he used Barry. to drive taxis before watching CCTV. Yeah, get the cameras working. Barry is a lazy old bugger. Maybe he might be up. Watching the sheep jumping on the telly. What? Security. He should have been here. Stop in us getting in. Please, don't leave me here. You were so pretty. How can a girl so pretty be so horrible? So horrible. I don't think he's meant to be, no, but he certainly has that vibe. <laughs> Look, 5557869, but we can't use the phone for phone calls, can we? It, uh, where are we? Yeah, it literally doesn't work. Uh, oh, but there is a phone booth. Hang on. Um, let me write this down. Uh, da, 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 da. Sad Barry. <laughs> Pretty sure he said Barry. Five, seven, eight, six, nine. All right, there we go. Okay, so he wants to get them working. We, dude, we can't even like get into the laptop, let alone building. Oh, sorry, I said I was going to try Yule, didn't I? Have a look. Oh, no. Oh, password. No. Lamentably, no. That just sounds like a sigh of relief. Uh. <laughs> Okay, we've got to take the uh, path round, get back to where we were. Okay, yeah, this was a path that I didn't really inspect properly as we went past, just in case. Ah, there's the phone box. Oh, okay. Um, 
This is. I, pick, I can pick it up and I can hang up, and that's about it. They are. I think they're the ones that we saw inside the. Um, we saw under the grate in the um, in the barbecue, but I don't see that we picked up anything new that's going to help us pick it up. So I don't know what we're supposed to do when we get there. That's where we were. That's the new place with the electric building. If I, right, I believe from the first game you have to do something with this tower, it's like a radio tower, so that's probably why we can hear Gus, because he's he's on the radio station, so that's probably why we can hear him there. Yes, and we're back here, okay. Uh, right, uh, we can try heading up to the picnic site and see if it has anything new to offer. Uh, through this way. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, okay. This is all the, uh... oh no, this is a new one, isn't it? I think the other one was at the picnic site. There was a, a place with a bunch of stuff on that we couldn't, uh... no, not that one. Uh, home it off. Oh, no, okay. Burn it off. Nope. No, I'm just muting everything now. Okay. If I click there, is that the same thing? Yeah, okay. It never hurts to check, I guess. What about around there? A weird tree stump here with some moss on it. Okay, this maybe this was the one I saw before then. Just didn't realise I was in that location. Right, off to the left, I think. And right. Oh, it's a different oh, okay. We're finding new areas. Whisper bar, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I think it'd take more than that to make you fat, don't worry. And a memory card, wow. Or oh, a SIM card, as they're calling it. Spooky SIM card. Still no. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Oh, it's her again, okay. I need your help. My friend Mia, she's only young. She's out there tonight, in the Barrow Woods. Yes. We're looking for her. Yes. She's a good girl, but. but She's got herself mixed up in something. Not just Crazy her, cults. either. That's what worries me the most. They, Mia and Ollie Tyndall and Gus Bevan, have formed some sort of gang. A cult. They call themselves the Dark Path. They hang out in the Barrow Woods. Some sort of den. Mm -hmm. I've looked, believe me, but, but, but they're hidden well. Not that well. Could you take a look? You up for a bit of trespassing? Always. Please, you've got to help them. They don't know what they've got themselves into. Right, okay. Let's look. Ooh! Oh, Ollie Bevan. Oh, no, it's Gus Bevan. Ollie. Murs or whatever, I don't know. The other guy. <laughs> You've looked. Not right there. Why? Oh, she, well, she was looking for a friend because she knew it would be dangerous out here. Because she's in the first game, so she knows the r crazy events that have happened here. Although, she, I don't think she subscribes to the idea that they were necessarily, you know, um, paranormal, necessarily. It was Gus Bevan. Yeah, okay. Um, but there was Ollie. Maybe he's the guy with the glasses. Um, the, 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 the seeming child. I don't know. Uh, thank you for your visit on the 17th of August. We're sorry to inform you that your mother has made no significant improvement in the last month. We would suggest you visit St. Orphal Hospital as soon as possible to discuss future care and support, both for yourself and your mother. Head of care at St. Orphal Hospital. Right. Okay. That's his wish. He wants his mother to get better. So these are all going to be a stone with a wish on each. Pretty enough loud. Bird. Or a tree. You are the one. The one for me. The one with your smile. Lights up and bathe. Oh, I cannot say. Why does he put a question mark? It's clearly him. An awful hospital. Yes, <laughs> yeah, the place is an awful for some reason. Not to be confused with the NHS. Yeah, exactly. Right, so we're probably going to have to break each of these wishes. 
little people would hear my wish and make it through. Please give Emma more listeners. She's been so sad since poor Wincy. Oh, okay. So... I thought three wishes, three stones. So one to save her mother. I thought that the the woman we're looking for, Mia, I thought she was going to come here and wish to see her brother again. And that's why everything went tits, tits up. But there doesn't appear to be a stone with that reference. We would change it to listeners. Interesting. Can't go that way. Not that way. Oh, I just click on that way. I think I did. Didn't do that. No, curses. Turn around. No, we got to wish. Maybe. It's just a handprint we apparently can't look at. Right, so that's there. We don't need that. We can't go back that way. But back one step this way. Right, yes, and that's why there are two more. Right. That's where the paths diverge, and I didn't realise. I thought we just went off in a singular direction. And then we get sort of... Yes, okay, and that goes down towards the pool here. I still feel like I'm missing something here, I, I'm, but I don't know how we can do more. Blood cloth, exactly. you think you could look at that cloth, but apparently not. Where was the picnic area? There we are, okay. Yeah, and that's it. I reckon that's his glasses there, but I don't know what we need to use to pick up the top. Uh, Wedge it open with a torch. Slingshot creatively. <laughs> well, it could, yeah, exactly. Any of these things would theoretically, I mean, your hands, your hands are going to work in real life, but of course it's a puzzle game. Yeah, this was, this was where we saw the, right, so we now have two places with, uh, with moss on. Assuming I can remember where they all are. And, or both at the moment, anyway. Um, yeah, so there doesn't, the thing that confuses me most about this here, what was the question mark behind the moss? Probably. Exactly, yeah. I saw the heart, but I can't work out any more. That's not the... Uh, not far enough. Yeah, okay. Keep turning. There we go. And that's here. The bit that confuses me the most here with this is that we've got this and we can use it doesn't seem to do anything, <laughs> seemingly. Looking does lit you'd think it would sort of highlight something, you know, um, or a hotspot, or it would just tw trigger automatically because uh, I can't otherwise do anything. You know, I zoom in or I move screens, it closes, it goes away. Hang on. Right, okay. There's that me. Okay, this is a dead end, essentially. And the torch. Um, I don't think I can. It's kind of uh, an automatic thing now. I used it once to say, oh, I need to look in the dark, and now it just turns it on whenever I go through. Missing an item you need for the spider to work. Might be backwards though. Mm. That's the thing, it may be a very sort of a, a linear aggression, but I'm just randomly grabbing things and I may have passed something already that I need to know <laughs> or do.
I guess, I guess theoretically, the worst case scenario, it could come down to the fact that um, we're not needed here, so it's not. Um, oh, sorry, get down the window. So it's not immediately uh, a problem. So it's just like, ah, come back later. Don't worry about that. But what can we do? That's the point. What? Hmm. Oh, okay, blinding. Oh, look. A coit. Stone structure was built around 6,000 years ago. Neil has a chain of tomb. Structure of local grad. Several remains of leaders, wise men, and warriors. Coit was used as Bronze Age funeral rituals and other ceremonies. Didn't see that before. That's cool. Oh, we can zoom in on the fire. Nice. Uh, I guess. For no reason. We can't do anything when we're there. Laptop is still bothering me. Uh, no, they were not interactive objects. They were just, uh, they were just there, apparently, in the background. Going. <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> okay, I've got. What the hell? Nope, that's not where I was aiming. Um... Right, let me go down. This one here, I'm looking for the. There is the. the... Oh, whatever, we're here anyway. That's sort of kind of where I wanted to be. <laughs> I was aiming for the phone booth. Okay, I've, I've got to admit, and this is kind of frustrating. How are we meant to work out this password? Um, thing that started it all. It's just it's an event. It's a thing. It's a. It's an unfortunate situation. Oh, hang on. This is her brother. Eyes too, hair messy. <laughs> Weight not fat. He's tall, Ben Kendall, 17. 17? Last seen at the petrol station at work. Okay. But what? Oh, that's the same one, okay. Maybe we can't, but then what do we do? Let's go kind of walking around in circles. The guy wants his glasses, but we can't even get into the building. Um, any keys? We don't have any keys. We're looking for this thing, but I don't know why. Or how, at the moment. Um, yeah, we've got there's up here, Emmett family been missing. Is it service station that started it all? Go ahead, I have no idea. I thought it was uh, Q306 when my brother went away. We could try that. Okay. It, see, I thought the four dots would maybe be it, but then I thought that was really small for anything that it may actually be. 
I was like, oh, you know, who would just have a four-letter password? That's insane. Yeah, let's try those options. See if it's been staring me in the face all along. Oh, this one. Come on. Because yeah, who has a has a four-digit password? That's uh, that's practically nothing. Okay. Um. Three o six. That's what it was. It was on the poster all along. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. Um. You. In case it comes up later, just in case. Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Right, okay. What have we got here? More things to read. Current coursework, film studies, no notes. Pick an interesting uh, subject, find an unusual, unusual or interesting angle on a local subject or environmental issue. Storyboard a short film. Oh, we can look at a project. Capture clips. Capturing from device, thumbnails loaded. Oh, okay. So this is what they're already doing. And there you go, last one. See me, I am a believer. <laughs> last one at house number two. Okay, that house has the symbol on it for some reason. It has a key in the flower pot. Three guys on the computer. Diamond head, ten head. A uh, diamond legs, ten head, and SpongeBob square face. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can find the key. I shall make a note of that as well. Um, no, 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 no. Key in. Flower pot, I'm sure. I'll probably remember when we get there anyway. Make a movie. Please wait. Recompiling movie. No, okay, fair enough. Close that for now. Ooh, what's here? What the? Oh my god. Is Okay. So we have filmed people for most things except for these, which are bad 3D models. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would struggle to do better myself, but this isn't an old game. Is that the SD? No, it's not even the SD cards yet. <laughs> I haven't got there yet. Although, um, I don't know how to access them exactly, because I can't access my inventory here. So I'm hoping there might be something that sort of says, you know, please insert SD card. I'll take it from there. Right, so I'm assuming that's supposed to be Mia. Uh, it seems exactly. That must be Gus. And that's, oh god, that's Ollie. I'm assuming he's lost his glasses. Ooh. A chair in a birdcage? Oh, uh, Okay. <gasps> okay. The ghost. Can't go there. Okay. Desktop. Connecting to transmission. No transmission. I don't know what's supposed to be. You knew it was a birdcage. I'm good. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Good. That's what I meant to say. Oh, we can check her emails. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't go out promising me that you won't do anything tonight. You want to know what happened to your brother? I know we all do, but Barrow Hill is not what we think. Something wrong with this place. It's like when your brother disappeared ten years ago. Don't know the natural world. We don't know. We don't own the natural world, right? We simply live within it normally. It feels fine. It's a creepy way, but not tonight. The equinox. Like we are being punished. Listen to me, I'm not your babies anymore, but still stay indoors. <laughs> it's a harmonica, it's not a harmonica. <laughs> pick one, okay. Pick two. Ooh. Cool. 
Babin sees, Babin knows. Babin? Babin? Was real. She lived thousands of years ago near the Hill of Barrows here in Cornwall. She dwelt in the green places where death had provided fertile soil, rich with the remains of ancient man. I'm going to call it Babin at the moment. Babin is the divine feminine crone, maiden, and mother. She powers her. Her powers are absolute, commanding all of nature. Her spirit is pure, uncorrupted. She bows to no man. The old barrow lands are her world, an endless cycle of death and regrowth. Babin understands the cycle, birth, life, death, all returns to the earth, all life decays, dies, and returns to the soil. Babin knew this better than anyone. Seek the knowledge you crave, Babin sees, Babin knows. Babin. Write that down. And I'll keep calling it that until someone tells me about it. Ooh, saved. Okay. Dark path. Follow the book to the letter. Do not deviate from the dark path. My mother strayed. She did not believe. She was punished. Taken from me and thrown to the wolves. Torn to shreds by tooth and claw. We will not match. make such mistakes. A mentor. A mentor whose mother was ripped to pieces by wolves? Oh, I see. Oh, God. Um, I remember the harmonica bit. I don't remember the rest of the video, though. Sorry, um, it's lost me. Uh, what am I looking for? Equinox approaches. He consulted the lunar charts. The the wise one has shown the way. Equinox will occur on twenty second at thirty minutes past seven. Before the dark path to the letter, you will see your brother again. The spirits that dwell within the wood will help you. Do not tell your friends they do not believe as we do. A friend. No one answers like or just finishes an email with a proper name anymore, do they? Why is she 1952? She definitely isn't that old. Uh, your brother suffered from the actions of others, the thieves, the desecrators, and grey robbers. They call themselves archaeologists. I call them heathen liars, justifying their greed, p greedy purpose with talk of science and education. It's all about money. It always has been. They are the enemy. A woman, the worst of the thieves, came to Barrow Hill in 1965. She saw the ancient treasures, the personal and precious items placed in the barrows over 4,000 years ago. She had no right. The spirits are angry. Babin will not rest until her treasures are returned. Okay. We're looking for... Uh, Babin's treasures. Okay. Still got leaflets that are going to be... Oh, late. Okay. Interesting, yes. I thought that said going to be 18. Anyway. <laughs> Strokes move. Hmm... What do you expect to happen tonight? Anyway, I don't like the new place. Creepy old tomb. It gives me the creeps. Why do we have to hang out there? I met with Ollie's second night. He says something about your brother. Mia, he's not coming back. Just because it's a special night and all that pagan stuff. None of it's real. You've got to let him go. Gus. Yes, Ollie's got a crush on you. Ha ha. Everybody knows. There's a bit of overkill on this uh, this statement here. <laughs> Meeting tonight. Hi, Mia. Looking forward to tonight. We've never done anything like this before. What do you expect to happen? You seem to be... You seem to lose yourself when you do the trance stuff. The Quiot, I think that's supposed to be the Quiot, is one thing, but the old farmhouse really gives me the creeps. Do you really expect to see your brother tonight? Summoning spell, you said. Hope you know what you're doing, Ollie. Right, sent emails. Just, oh, bloody Jesus. People talk a lot, don't they? Hoping to delete this before anyone reads it, but just in case, if anything happens to me, Ollie or Gus tonight, I want people to know what happened. It's been, it's all been my idea. I want to know what happened to my brother, Ben. Where is he? Why won't the police reopen the case? What's going on in this place? I want to know, and it seems like the only way. Magic. Old magic. Magic about this place. Made by this place. It will provide answers. It has to. Gus has filmed everything. He thinks I don't know. Find his SIM cards. They will tell you everything. Mia. Okay, right. Go to the desktop. Uh, that was your emails. I won't do anything with either of those. Internet search. Recommended local websites. Recently visited Barrow Hill Radio. Uh, Check out the spooky area. Oh, it's here. Okay. Uh, Ultimate Equinox 2016. It's been 10 years since that terrible night here at Barrow Hill. My feelings are mixed. Now for all those that lost their lives that night. It was a senseless, terrible tragedy. And also very angry. The inquest, which actually 
When it actually happened, for the shambles, a whitewash, an industrial accident, we must stick together, seek the truth inside the lies. Oh, there's... Oh my god. There's so much more. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Everyone has a pet theory about that night, from scary to the downright silly. Heard some kids talking about the, at the bus stop, talking about sacrifice, witchcraft and magic, local kids too. I wrote about my... about my stock. Oh, <laughs> right, okay, livestock. I was, I was just like, what, what have you got stock in? Uh, the herd gets spooked easy enough already. If there's weirdos in the woods, we'll soon know about it. I don't believe in this pagan stuff. It's daft, but there's always been something odd about Barrow Woods. Fair enough. Uh, the dark path. Who the hell is it? A cult? Anyone got any info? If so, get calling. You might make it on air. Got to be honest, that kind of thing doesn't uh, tempt me to, you know, <laughs> call in. I mean, I've seen some flyers around Witchwood Hollow near the pub. Took a couple of photos of my phone. Sorry about the quality. Oh, we, okay, it's just about leaflets. We can't think. Time approaches. The hour is near. Elsie Prestige. She owns the pub. Don't they? The Prestige family? I mentioned something about the pubs? She's a white witch member. Ancient spirits, those that dwell within the hill, they are ready to hear your troubles. They want to help you realise your wish. They are not to be feared. Others have already taken the path. Thanks, Elsie. <laughs> yeah, that's a big help. You're a white wicker. Eh? What does that actually mean? To my other listeners, let's hear about the equinox stories. What happened to you that night? Anything weird, wonderful, or just freaky? Let me know. Out of curiosity, you looked up Barry Hill Dark Path, laptop password on YouTube, just to see how long someone else took to find the password. The guy that did a walkthrough four years ago with 6,000 views took six half hour episodes to find it. Really? Well, I hope they found something else to do in between. That's a long time. Because we came across this relatively quickly and ran out of other things to do. <laughs> um, also, to my friend Mia, I'm thinking about you. I know this night, the year is very hard for you. You lost your brother, poor Ben, never to be seen again. Hard not having answers. It's hard not knowing the truth. But please stay indoors tonight. The same goes for everyone else. Stay indoors, lock the doors. Indoors, lock the doors. Oh my god. Um, da -da -da. Turns out, after a bit of web snooping, the dark path was dark path was a book. Looks like it was devoted to the mist, the mist keel, magical and esoteric of Cornwall, written by James Tregowan. Also, there's apparently a sequel to 2006 Barrow Hill game. It is indeed yes. So by ten years, they're not uh, they're not just talking about story. It has actually been ten years in between games. A lot of people are doing that these days, aren't they? Sort of waiting twenty years and then they uh. And they can act like they're 20 years older. It's crazy. Um, but you might hold some clues as to why Barrow Hill... Uh, oh, uh, in the 60s, out there, hippie stuff. Barrow Hill and the area of focus of strange forces. Got to be worth a look. E-bidding, if anyone is interesting. Method acting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got to get into the role of being 20 years older. We are the dark path. Continue to work. Continue the work of James Dragallan. By following the dark path, you we will find out such joy to us. No, the dark path is that you, Mia. I hope you're uh, not out tonight. You promised. Girl seeks answers from a path that can't lie. Jesus, these people. Boy seeks to catch the girl's eye. Yes. The other is sad. His heart filled with pain. Yes. By dressing the cairns, he could live again. Really? Evening all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gone to the dark side. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> we've been wandering the foreign post as well as making regular patrols past the Barrow Hill service station. There is no sign of any devil worship, Satanism, witchcraft, or any other such nonsense. The incident ten years ago was tragic. The old petrol pumps were to blame. Petrol pump. Any strange visions or sightings were the result of hallucinations from the fumes. Form the fumes. A tragic accident, nothing more. People were melted. They were literally turned into piles of ash. And they weren't anywhere near the the, the the pumps. Crazy. Robert, you speak of things you can never understand. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Hot fumes, maybe. Uh, <laughs> local Bobby Police. Uh, Robert. Um, you were not even born when I had my first ex oh, I don't want to get into your experiences, love. Uh, 1965, the winter solstice. The opening of the Bracken Tour changed my life forever. If those who were born in the area of Barrow Hill wish to seek their purpose, to seek answers, can that be so bad? If the youngest following the dark path wish to make wishes, how can the law stop them? Uh, probably not. Me. 
<laughs> oh, well, now I'm worried. Elsie, are you trying to say that the dark path is local kids? If so, do you know if my friend Mia is one of them? I'm really worried she's never been okay about the Equinox, and this is okay about the Equinox? Anniversary of her brother's death. Should not have encouraged her, so please tell me where she is. Mia, if you're out there, go home. Please stay away from the service station. Oh my god, that's the last one. Thank god. Jesus, it just keeps going. Uh, the swamp, that's where she resides. In a, <laughs> She is next to a radio tower in a caravan on the swamp. That's, uh, that's where she lives. Isn't that uh, lovely? Freaky times soon available worldwide. Freaky times. Dark path and much more. Organite pyramids. Games? Play now. Strange mystery and haunted Winnebago. <laughs> C.E. Hidden object game was created by me, Emma Harry. I love a good, good hog now and then, so I thought I'd invite you into my spooky world. This game is the first in a series of hog pack co hog. There's a hidden object game. Uh, Cornish Avengers coming soon. Swamp horror, alien hive, beast of Barrow Moor, and Dolly Dolly orphanage. That sounds creepy as shit. About Emma Harry has returned to find the radio station haunted by hidden objects. Find them all to break the curse. <laughs> oh my god it's here you can play the game <laughs> oh my god the uh, dance macabre in the background as well something is stopping me a curse and the aliens what the fuck oh my god plain crown boots cookies <laughs> um, boots, bling, plane, cookies, crown. John the Greek, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh my God! Oh, okay, stuff keeps reappearing. I was, I expected it to be a uh, screw. Oh, screw right there. Bling. Uh, wait. Breakfast. Got the sandwich here. That? Oh, that's. Oh, okay. That's the burger, okay. Uh, button? Button? Oh, uh, oh, an app. right, a regular button. I was thinking of like a like a push button. I was like, how would you recognise one of them exactly? Lizard is right there. A doll. Not that. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, did I misread? That said, I thought that said doll. Was it door? No, I was an idiot. It said doll, <laughs> but clicking on the door worked for some reason. Gotta wait for the UFO to come back now. Grab it, grab it. Hey! Ooh, well done, it's showtime. Okay, do we go in when the door is moving? Oh, okay. Right, I think that's it. Okay, hang on. Um, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Considering it's completely pointless. Oh my god, hang on. Alien Swarm? Is this a new one or is it the same game? It's the same game. Okay. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> I love that they put that in though, that's great. <laughs> uh, and that is, uh, I believe, is her real name Emma Harry? I can't remember. I have forgotten her name. She is the actual voice actress for DJ Emma Harry. And um, she is also the the sort of the, the second protagonist, so to speak, in The Lost Crown. I will play The Lost Crown. Uh, I play it a lot, um, but I will share it on stream at some point. Okay. Oh, hang on, no, there were other sites, weren't there? What's this other one? Oh, God. Seeking answers from the land. Missing Barrow Hill Mystery. Site Picks 2016. Conspiracy. Members only. It ain't been right, not since that grey rubber stole from the old ones, and I ain't talking about ten years ago. Didn't see the dog. The only one I can remember. What happened to Wincy, her beloved doggy? 
Emma is a true, honest witness to the lethal power that stalked the landscape back in 2006. She described Quincy being... Honestly, who would choose this font for their website? I know it looks creepy, but it's it's ridiculous. No one's going to sit down and, you know, randomly read this stuff. They're going to get a headache in, like, five seconds. Um, right, yeah, these are some images from the original game. I think. That one doesn't look familiar, but maybe. Actually, hang on, is that? No, it's just holding the ground. I thought it was the bit on the wall. Uh, try to stop the D, because I know it was wrong. Uh, I'm not too fussed about reading too much into this. Ben Kendall, yeah, the guy that went missing. Oh, yeah, see, look, it's just a stone that moves around and just vaporises people. <laughs> um, I have no idea who that guy is. Conrad Morse, apparently. Okay, powerful mystery. I'm concerned there's just a lot of fluff here that may not be really helping the story. Right, okay. Service station. Right, that's what the place looks like now, apparently. Is that what we just clicked on? Yes, it must be. Uh, conspiracy. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, a child, but it looks like a gun. I'm not sure that looks like a gun. Oh, that's the dog. Atta oh, that's the dog getting melted by a stone. Oh, no. And members only. Was she a member? No, she's not. Okay. And that's them. Okay. Ow. Oh, hang on. What else was there? Recommended local sites. Cornish Messenger. Uh, the recent increase in our cult act. Activity. Again, I keep missing that eye. Strange graffiti. The work of local occult group who refer to themselves as the Dark Path. Oh my god, there's links to everything. Still no answers. They keep going on about Wincy, don't they? <laughs> wow. All the people that died, and they're like, and the dog too. I mean, I understand, but still. <laughs> it's, um, you know, I would have thought for national news it's not the most important thing. Sens sensations? Oh, right. Okay, you put this stuff in your tea. Fruit and vegetable goodness. What's a bit we probably encounter some of this and it's going to be useful for whatever we're doing later? Okay. So, where do we put the. Oh, what? hang on. The memory cards are gone. So, I don't think it's meant to be cat food. I think it's just meant to be like a, like a, what do you call it? Like a, you know, like a, a supplement that is good for cats as well, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> oh, no, it's not this one. Sorry. Um, uh, no. Oh, damn it. Nope, sorry. I pressed one button. Or to use the SD card. I think it did. Where would it put them? Where was our project? Here it is. I think these are the two we picked up. So I think these two videos are the SD cards we had. It's automatically sucked them out of our inventory. But he said these were going to help. <laughs> he was like, find the memory cards. They're going to help. It's like, these aren't helpful in the slightest. The show was, okay, that one did. You know, maybe that'll be useful in the future. But how is that, you know, the the other ones are just like, you know, I put the leaflet through the door. There we go. Right, okay. So we've done that. That still didn't help, really. I was hoping that would give us a lot more information. Um, what have we got here now, then? Okay. Pebbles. Crystal pendant. What time is it, actually? Oh, my God. It's two o'clock. Right, okay. I'll tell you what. We'll save it there. We'll come back. I'll tell you what. I say we save it. Let's make sure we do. Because just in case it does a Kathy Rain of clothes whenever I use my hotkeys. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, do you see an address on the first one? It did say number two. Um, I don't know how you know helpful that is in the long run. It just said number two on the door. But I don't know sort of how to get beyond where we are already. Uh, there's there's 
there's a door at the back of the building we need to unlock, but we don't have a key of any kind. Um, there's this stuff here we can sort of interact with, but we don't know why. We're looking for that key that's apparently lost um, with the, the charm. Um, I still don't entirely understand how that functions. Because um, we seem to be restricted to those those three screens. Is it three or four? Uh, where No, it's just three, isn't it? Round the pool, where it's like you can use the actual charm. That seems to be our the only place we can use it. Um, but it doesn't actually show us anything. So I don't know. Um... I feel I honestly feel like I'm missing a mechanic there, but I just I don't I don't get it. It's not really telling me anything except, you know, use it. And then, you know, glowing and leaping and stuff. I don't know. So we'll have to look more into that, I think, at some point. But um Yeah, we can go we can we can do a lot of walking around. Is that a bongo drum? Where are you looking? <laughs> um there's a bunch of tires around the place. Not seeing any bongos though. Oh, and that's up here. That's a bag. Um, like a sleeping roll. Just beneath the tyre. Oh, over here? Tyre with a Y. That's how we spell it. Tyre with an I is American. Um, oh, oh, this thing. Sorry. No, that's... Um, if you zoom in here. That's a lantern. Uh, you just can't see the dish very well from the side. But uh, it's one of those, it has a bright torch in the middle and it combs outwards, you know. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things to be doing. Not a lot of solutions. But we'll worry about that next time. Maybe with a with a fresher brain, we'll be fine. And, uh, and a better pair of eyes. <laughs> but we've got a lot of information. Did lots of, uh, lots of uh, walking around, lots of narrowing things down. And now we can progress, hopefully better. No, thank you for coming. Yes, uh, yeah, that will do um, for today. Um, next stream. Oh, hi, Sam. Oh my God, Sarah. I'm so sorry. We're we're just about to finish up. It's been a couple of hours, and uh, I'm sort of a. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, we're, we're all. Uh, I'm tuckered out, and uh, I need my lunch. But uh, oh, I appreciate you coming back, though. It's very kind. Um, the vod's still there if you're really interested in the game. Um, but uh. uh I'll save you some time. We haven't got far. Just lots of rambling. <laughs> no, but there is there's all sorts of random stuff in there. But plot li plot wise, we haven't moved on that much. Um, but uh, thank you. I shall yeah, I shall grab me lunch. I haven't eaten properly yet today. Um, oh no, have breakfast. That touched nothing. Anyway, um, well, welcome back. Um, have a good day. Uh, if you're going back to work, I hope uh, hope that works out well. Um, oh god, yeah, I forgot that. Um, otherwise, yeah, just uh, thank you for coming, everybody. Um, enjoy what's left of your day uh, and your nights if that's uh, applicable uh, I plan to stream again to Thursday and we'll probably come back to this because I want to know wh what's happening and, and carry on um, I did have another stream in mind but uh, I'm going to have to work that out because it literally not recognised by Twitch I don't know how to uh, how to fix that but you know that's another problem um, yeah otherwise take care everybody and hopefully I'll see you again another day uh, yeah see you later bye